What wise sage advised to hold your friends close and your enemies even closer? Hippias, a coward exiled from Athens long ago, has whispered his plans to usurp you in the ear of Darius, king of Persia. Hippias has promised Darius eternal servitude if the king agrees to help him. Now the battle has started, and Delos has entered the fray, revolting against the Persian city of Sardis. The clarion call has been sounded throughout Greece, and most city-states have agreed to set aside their differences and unite in one Greek front to help Delos and turn back the Persians. Only Sparta and Corinth have turned a deaf ear on the cry of our Greek brother. Oh well, things happen, don't they? Welcome back to Zeus Master Olympus, and we are on Revolting Ionia, which is pretty much an, an obvious mission, as you can tell from the, the goals and the, the briefing there. We've got to conquer back Sardis and Delos. That's a bit of a complicated one. I'll go into that in a minute. We've got to support three triads. We've just got to add two more. And we've basically just got to evolve our house. I'm not too sure why there's two separate goals which are just going to be met anyway. I mean, Tenement is below Homestead. No, Tenement is above Homestead, so I'm not sure why that goal's there. Never mind. Let's head to the city. I'm calling Monument Point. Uh, and we're ready to basically just expand this city because we can. We've got our colony here at Lorry, which sells us bronze and buys wheat. Can't sell it wheat anyway. But we can at least import bronze and start making sculpture. I don't think we can get armour yet. No, we can only um, ask for that from somewhere. So let's just have a look. So Corinth and Sparta are... Well, they now actually do something, but they're not interested in us at the moment. Olympia still does nothing, which is unhelpful. I do need a source of armour from somewhere. Who does sell me armour? Well, I can get it from Mount Pelham, but that would mean I would have to conquer them for it. Let's see, is there anyone else? I'm pretty sure no one else sells anything of use. No. Okay, so... Presumably there must be gifts that we get, but it's not too big of a deal. I might have to just raid Mount Pelham for armour, but I don't really want to do that, to be honest. So... I think what I'll do, we've got plenty of armour, I will um, let this sort of stabilise because it'll have to. And um, with our unemployment at this level, what I'll do is I'll evolve one block. It does mean I'm going to have to find a source of olive oil. I don't think anyone sells us olive oil yet. We must get it from gifts, I think. Um, yeah, we must have to get it from uh, gifts or summit. Yeah, let's see. Delos is here. Where's Sardis? Oh, they're not on the map here, I don't think. Sardis is around here somewhere. We can get grapes from Delos, but at the moment we can't do anything. So, what we're going to do is I'll let this run because there's nothing that is going to be happening here. Marathon still trades, we can import wine. Um, can we build any more culture venues? No, we still cannot build the stadium. Unhelpful. So uh, what I'll do is I'll let this run, I'll let these elite houses stabilise and I'll come back in once something uh, happens at the start, once the mission's actually progressed a bit. Okay, well that's one thing that's happened. Delos has become an ally, uh, but they get conquered by Sardis, I think, after a while. So they sell me fish and grapes and they buy olive oil and marble. Well, of course, I don't really need the use for that. I suppose I could use the grapes because then I can then pour that and make wine. Uh, our Desos does nothing useful. I don't think this uh, here would be in range of this, so I'm going to... What I'll actually do is I'll just plan out another little area here, I think. But I could use Delos as a trading partner. I might, might as well just do this first, though. Which is a bridge. see could I put it there? No. The space doesn't really lend itself well. If it was just there I would have been able to do it but I don't think I can. Never mind. Let's just put this here. Just destroy some of the trees since we can't cut trees. No point in having the trees at all. And uh, I might as well just put another one down here. So I'll just... Um, I don't have much uh, to support another set of triremes at the moment, but we can just draw out the road like this. And I can put some more down here as well, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five triremes. That's more than enough. I don't think I'll try to get it up to that level. Uh, Eretra sells more grapes, so that's useful. Um, so they sell me grapes and wine, so I could... Am I training with them? That's Marathon. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of this Marathon training post and that crap there. 
Alright, I'll set up a bit of a wine district just over here, because then I can use make use of that. Hermes. Oh, hey Hermes. Me, and some of your citizens will taste my speed. So what I'm going to do is put down a... Uh, just, uh, I don't think I can put any uh, things here, so let's just check. Delos. No, that's just a bit blockaded, so I could put a granary just here just to get cheese. But what I'll do is I'll go and plan out more because I need to plan out some more. I'm going to have to expand this cheese industry because we will need to support more housing. Hopefully building out this house again will help. But what I'll do is I'll go and plan out another, another area that's going to just be for later. And I'll come back in uh, once we are ready to, um, well, when I'm ready to show you something because I don't think anything's going to happen yet. I do need to actually get rid of these and uh, I'm just going to reduce wage rates for now. That'll do. So I'll go and do uh, some planning and I'll come back in once something happens. Okay, so I've planned out the third area for another block later. I've got this area all now properly uh, beautified and this fits in just nicely without me, me needing to rearrange the road or anything so that's okay. The other I've got to put the roadblock there so I might have to move this storehouse that contains armour. Now one thing that happened just as I cut it off, Olympia will now sell you olive oil and they're your only seller so you don't get much, you only get about 12. You might be able to request it but you don't get much so you do have to make sure you don't overuse it and just build up the city in stages really. You don't want to go overboard. Now I've drawn out this road here up here because this is where we're going to put more cheese and um, um, stuff, so dairies. And we need workers anyway. So I'm going to involve one block at, uh, at the moment with um, olive oil because then once it's got its maximum then it won't buy as much and then it'll be pretty much stable. Um, in terms of the wine, I'm not actually getting wine from anywhere. These won't... They need to access more cultural venues but they need a stadium for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably turn this area to a fairly small wine district. I'm not going to build tons of wine. I'm probably going to go with maybe like two or with that amount of grapes that we can import. We can't really get that much. I think someone else sells grapes, don't they? Let's have a quick look. We can get, um, no, that's an, an Eritrea. Yeah, we can get two lots of grapes, but I'm not going to get it from Delos because they're a water trade route, but Eritrea is a land trade route, so I can just import from there. So let's just put down this one. I'm just going to draw out the road in like this. I'm just going to do it it's more like a loop like this. And they'll go up, round and then back. And then this will all be protected basically. Because then you'll come back along this bit and protect these. So, And this is where I'll put in like the horse ranches when we come back to that at the end of the campaign. I think it is, yeah. So we'll just speed up things. And I'll just um, save actually. Since we've got such a major change happening. I'm going to put Eritrea's one, I think. Is it Eritrea or Eritrea? I don't know. I really don't know. I'll put this one here because this one here will almost certainly never get to these items up here. But it's okay for now. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a trade post here, which is going to be moving the armour over. I'll just empty all of this out just because it's easier. And then I can extend it by one tile. Like this. Actually, no, it should be shrunk by two tiles. Needs it like this. I'll just do that. So he'll go up and round like that. So we'll just get rid of all this armour. Got plenty of cheese, actually. So let's just see. We've got. We can feed up to 2,000 people. So if I evolve one block, we should be fine. These two goals are already supported by the fact that the tenements. Um, hang on. Yeah, tenements are higher than homesteads, so by default you should already meet these goals by how you've played the first uh, the first couple of missions. I'm not going to try and build up too much here. I may put the Arbor of Athena here, but my thinking is that what I'll do is I will build um, the five blocks here. And if I truly desperately need more workers... Oh, there we go. Sardis Conquers Delos. Where is Sardis? Oh, Sardis is there in this area called Lydia. They buy Olva and that's cut off Delos. Um, I don't think anyone else. So Dallas gets cut off. So I, I didn't realise Sardis was there. Sorry. Um, so one thing is before I got really interrupted about that, I'll probably put a road out uh, along here, and I'll probably have another block just in here, maybe just off a bit from this and just delete some of these trees. I don't, no, we can't cut down. So yeah, that's how my thinking is. Let's get rid of this. 
because then what I can do is put down the trade. Uh, I'll put a trading store, well, storehouse just here to accept wine. I'll just accept armor there. And what I'll do is I'll put down Eritrea's um, thing here, which will import grapes. And we'll just put down. Oh, Olympia begs for wine. Well, I need to get wine, don't I? One, two, three. Now, I can import wine from Eretria as well. So, what I'm going to do is just import four at the same time. And we'll just get this going. Uh, so, and oh, this has been used, that's so fine. We've got um, philosophers, athletes, and actors. We don't have competitors because we don't have a stadium, but that's okay. Everything should be fine. So uh, yeah, what I will do is, um, these have got plenty of cheese, so this is all nice for this bit down here. They should just be about to reach this, but I'm not sure. What I'm going to do first though is I'm not going to do anything with this city. I'm going to evolve the housing, yes, but I want to get a, lo a large stockpile of olive oil first before I do that. Olympia unfortunately doesn't buy anything, but I could import bronze from Lorien and sell sculpture because I think someone buys sculpture. I'm just going to have a quick... Yeah, Plataya buys sculpture, so that is a useful little uh, industry that I could set up and I will probably do it here because I'll probably set up the arbours and all that over here and just have this kind of been my culture area, my, my gods area, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run, nothing's really happened, and I will come back in once we have set up our sculpture and we're about to sell the first sculpture. Okay, so a couple of things happened. I've went, gone and put down some more elite housing because I want to build up the elite housing. The main reason for that is because I want to conquer Mount Pelion because they sell me bronze, armour and sculpture and all of those things are needed in the city. Sculpture not so much because I can just um, sell that on to Plataya from imported bronze. But I do need armour. We do get gifts of armour. But I would rather try to sell or at least have a stable supply that I can get. I don't think anyone buys armour. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, no, no, I don't think anyone buys armor, no. So it's only needed for the elite housing, and we keep getting gifts from Olympia anyway. Uh, meanwhile, we have one block up to um, Townhouse here, which is good. You don't get much olive oil though, and we are starting to sell um, the sculpture. The only problem is that Lorien's trade is a bit iffy. Sometimes they'll stop selling it, which is not good. Now, I'm not sure what will happen if I do conquer uh, Mount Pelion. I don't know if they'll... Uh, people will get upset because I know that I played this mission once and uh, people like Fermopoli were getting pissed off with me and I don't know why but um, they were they just were a uh, gift of armor so there's another gift of armor so there you go we've got plenty of armor in stock do we have plenty of em employees we do not we have a huge unemployment uh, a huge employment problem uh, so let's just go ahead and boost housing and if I can't get enough workers from all this housing I will lay out this block here and just start giving it items. And uh, We are getting plenty of olive oil from Olympia. We don't have much money though but I'm hoping taxation will help. I did have to reduce taxation because people were getting upset by it unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run. Once um, I have conquered Mount Pelion I'll come back in and show you that I have and see that if we can get a better stable bronze supply at least. Okay, so I'm suspecting that Mount Pelion can't be conquered yet because although they have only one shield, six, I sent 16 hot plates to Mount Pelion and they crushed it. So I suspect that you can't actually um, conquer them yet. I've also expanded the cheese industry, as you can see here. We can support a lot of people. I've tried to uh, kind of box this in a bit more so it's a bit more efficient, but there's too many goats now. I can't really do that. But there's plenty here. Uh, if need, I just get rid of the Lorian trading post later. But we can sell a sculpture. We're just about to do that now. Look at all this money we're getting. We even get money from Delos. But God, we have broken through the, the money barrier so well there. So what I'll do is we've got this housing. We've got plenty of olive oil. So I'm going to ex uh, evolve this housing some more with olive oil. Since we're we are the best way to do this mission is to basically slowly expand, and you'll be able to support the industry that's needed. So. Um, I also uh, build down another trident more. <coughs> and with the expansion of workers that we get here, we should be able to put down the third one and then we'll be ready to conquer Delos. 
and I will come back in once we are ready to conquer Delos because there's not much to do just yet and I keep getting gifts from them which is are just kind of like helpful ways to say that they want you to help them. So I'll come back in once we're ready to conquer Delos. Okay, I think we're ready to now basically start conquering people. I've started building the sanctuary to Hermes since it's available and he keeps pestering me to give him a sanctuary so I might as well give him one. Uh, trains, just some of the trade posts around as you can see I'm now importing marble. I was importing marble from Odessos. I don't need to do that now because we've got enough. Uh, I've built down the two other triremes so we've got the support three triremes now. And um, we're pretty much ready to go conquer some cities. So Delos you're going to fall first because I really need to get you on site, so we'll just set off that. It probably will succeed, but I, it's a case of just keep attacking until they they whittle down. So, um, yeah, but I've not really done much with the cheese industry. Well, we're producing enough cheese. If I need to, I could just expand the cheese industry some more. I think when we come back here after the second colony of Fipolis, we can at least put down the, the horse ranch just so I can start getting these up to the states. And I don't know when we get the stadium though, but I'll put that down at some point when we can. I'm just um, doing that for now. Um, yeah, even though it goes back up, he always comes back down this way, so it's okay. It's, a, it's pretty much a closed loop. He always comes back this way to end his journey, essentially. Uh, so we're getting enough marble. Uh, Fear chests don't always work, that's simply because I don't have this area set up for anything else. So what I'll do is, oh, there's a gift of drachma. What we'll do is put down an extra drama school just somewhere. It will be deleted later. But it's just, just to support what we need. I've got enough uh, sculptures in stock. I won't sell them off yet. I don't want to run out. But this will just sort of support what we've got. We're running uh, exactly everyone that we need, which is not great. I don't like that. What I'll do, obviously, is when, um, once we have uh, the stadium, these theatres will be deleted and I'll leave one in one of the blocks. Plus, I'll probably leave this one here and delete these two, because then I can... I've had to extend it more, but that's okay. Loyal cells, I suppose. Yeah, that keeps happening. You will uh, have uh, drops in bronze supply, so Loyal will stop selling bronze, and then they'll sell it again, and then they'll stop selling it, and then they'll resell it. So it's kind of a... It's kind of annoying when that happens, but it's okay. So I'll run, I'll keep this going. Once we've conquered Delos, I will come back in. Okay, so the uh, invasion was crushed, which I sort of suspected. I don't have that many. I have plenty of triremes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have much wood because I'm still importing marble to stockpile. And I'll use marble really as a gift to try and keep Delos happy. Uh, it probably won't work, but I'll bribe this invasion away, it won't matter. Some of my houses did devolve, but we still keep getting gifts of armour from Olympia every so often. And I am still importing uh, olive oil from it. I'm obviously getting a few gifts from them as well, and I'm also requesting it just to keep uh, things happy. I went ahead and put down more housing here, because we need uh, more people. And that's why I'm just expanding on my trireme and stuff. I moved the work, um, inspector's thingy over here so it goes around this way instead so then I've got five triremes. I won't bother to um, fight this one because I'm selling sculpture which will give me money. We sold eight there which is pretty good. It's this Eritrea, sorry. <coughs> Bribe. No, it was just um, a water invasion, yeah, I suspected as much, but that's okay. Okay, well that kind of flopped. But we still get a victory monument for it, but that's okay. And of course we also had to get some workers because this was in use, but never mind. So we've got plenty of money, I'm not too worried. So what I'll do is I'll go and send out the troops again to try and conquer Delos, and I'll just keep, I'll come back and once they're actually conquered. Sardis is going to take a while, I'm probably going to have to keep um, whittling them down, I won't bother to show that, because it's... I will show when I start to set off the first set of troops, but I won't show the repeated attempts, because it just gets boring after a while. So, I'll come back in once we have actually conquered Delos. After quite a long time, I have finally conquered Delos. It took quite a bit of time, you do really need to send... sort of like vassals and allies to help. 
uh, because whenever I said about own forces, which consisted of five triremes and uh, 16 hoplites, it was only knocking off one shield, and within by the time that they invaded after the failed and uh, conquering attempt, they would just um, they would get their uh, shield back up to three. So I was in a never-ending cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a gift of 16 marbles. So now I finally got uh, Delos conquered. Now all I have to do is get Sardis conquered, which is going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to have to whittle away a lot of shields on Sardis. And they do need olive oil, they buy olive oil. But um, unfortunately I'm having a problem with olive oil. I can't get enough in and I'm actually having trouble getting enough fleece. Uh, so I might have to start requesting that stuff as well. And I'm going to just give for more polite money. I was finding that um, with vassals in particular, like, um, or just cities that don't buy anything, what was happening is if I was sending them things like wheat, and they would go up quite a bit um, to say dedicated, but then they would stop getting help and um, boosts from it. So I'm just giving money because I have enough money, and each time that they're getting up there towards devoted and philanthropic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep going with this mission, and as soon as Stardust is conquered, I will come back in because you know how the conquering system works. I don't need to show you that I'm sending off troops. Um, and really it's just a case of just keeping this city sort of semi-stable until I find another source of olive oil. And uh, I don't think I'm going to find any such sources yet. So I'm going to keep going and hopefully conquer Sardis. Greece's borders are secure from the Persian threat for now. Delos is once again a Greek city and you have even brought Sardis under your control. But Darius would not allow one of his most important cities to remain a subject to you, and has snatched the city back. Darius is so incensed at your actions that he has instructed his servant under penalty of death to repeat the words, Master, remember the Athenians. Three times, every time the king sits down for a meal. You will certainly meet Darius again, and the oracle has enigmatically advised you to trust in a wall of wood. Turning back the Persians brought most of Greece together, yet Sparta and Corinth remain aloof and have even declared themselves Athens rivals. Well that's not too good is it? We've actually got Sardis conquered, it just took a while. You have to, you really have to uh, enlist allies, so you just keep giving them money. You might run out of money, so just build it back up with sculpture sales, then just keep giving money until they are philanthropic and then just keep sending them until Sardis falls. So that is Revolt in Ionia. In the next part, if we continue with Greece, um, um, Athens, sorry, and pretty much build up the city a bit more. We might get another source of olive oil from somewhere. I don't know. Thanks for watching this part, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.